This is Captain Derek Tebber speaking. Thank you for flying Teddy Bear Air. Please fasten your seatbelts. Well, hello and welcome back to Flight Simulator. To make it easier, I'll handle the radios. We are Let's get out of here before the lunchtime rush. Yes. Once we're airborne, I'll we're flying a Mooney. There's our Mooney. We're flying a Hawaiian checkout flight. So this is um. Rated at 45 minutes of time. Runway 5 via Alpha, so 3 let's Mike see Sierra. Here. Okay, release the brakes and turn right onto Taxiway Alpha. I'll make sure I get all my lights on, mister. The one thing I don't like about the Mooney Bravo, it always confuses me. I mean, it's a single engine, which I love. Ah, there we are. Taxi lights on, strobe on, recognition on, nav on. Landing lights are off, so we should have all lights on now. There we go. I was wondering about that. All right. What did you tell me to do? Oh, taxi over there. Right. All right, so at least parking brake and advance your RPMs. Now, the one thing about the uh, Mooney is it's got the glass cockpit, so that's kind of nice. One thing I don't like about the Mooney is with the single prop, she walks. So when we're flying, she's a very fast aircraft, but when we're flying, she's, she torques, which is proper. I mean, she's supposed to torque. That Not to toot my own horn, but you would I've expect that. My whole life. Um, but it's still ride. annoying. It so makes it difficult right to, to keep with. the aircraft straight at all times. Hawaii's a beautiful place, and there's no better way to see it than from an airplane. He's actually By very the way, right this there. Isn't a test. It's just a chance for you to get acquainted Hawaii with is just a beautiful a beautiful set of islands to see from an airplane. airplane from us and fly on your own. The only thing better is if you're uh, if you're flying uh, chopper not better not like the uh, you shouldn't taxi any faster we'll than be you can quiet. Walk. I'm gonna taxi as fast as I need to taxi because really nobody wants to watch me taxi. Um, the only thing that's better than flying around Hawaii in like a little little plane like this or we're cleared across runway 1735 so look both ways then go ahead and taxi across yeah we're clear okay um the only thing that is better is uh flying like uh military uh, flying coast guard jayhawk or something like that around the islands that's always fun they get a little bit they get a little bit more leeway for obvious reasons And I, I, there's some areas that I still want to go back and see from the air. I'd, I'd love to fly over Volcano National Park. That would be really cool. Alright, so we're almost to our runway. Alrighty, slow down a little bit. Again, I'd, I have the on or off brakes, which is really annoying, but I don't really have any other options on this particular joystick. If I went and spent the uh, $150, $200 for some rudder pedals, it'd be so much easier, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, stop here and I'll get our takeoff clearance. Yep, stop. Molokai Tower, Mooney 123, Mike Sierra, all ready right. to go. Runway 5. Excellent. Mooney so three, all Mike my gauges Sierra, are digitized, so I don't have seven. any of the, I mean, there's... For Backup gauges there, Sierra. but everything is digitized. All set. Let's go flying. Take off and maintain runway heading. Rotate at about 65 knots. Taxi lights airport. off. Landing lights on. Let's roll. All I remember Hawaii. Well, the Big Island of Hawaii was the setting of the ill-fated Microsoft Flight experience. Um, I didn't even realize that my flight was shut down in July of 2012. Um, I played it three or four times and then said never again, so <laughs> didn't even pay attention. All right, let's go to the skies. One thing about the digital cockpit, it does make me want to keep my head down more and not look out the window, which is kind of sad. All right, we're at so 50. 65 knots rotate. And there we go. Oh, back on the ground. Haha, <laughs> wasn't paying attention. There we go. 
gears up and locked. Away we go. A good climb speed in this airplane is about 90 knots. Keep the throttle full and adjust pitch to maintain 90 knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go a little bit higher, than, a little bit faster than that. Well, close to 90 knots still. Ah yes, beautiful island. Beautiful islands, all of them are beautiful. Nice takeoff. If you look at the GPS, you'll see that I've entered yeah. a flight plan to Hana. I do Maui. see that. That's where we're headed. You don't have to fly that route. I'm in no rush, so feel free to explore along the way. Yeah. There might be well. some whales in the channel between Molokai and Maui. You can fly wherever you want, and I'll tell you about some of the things we fly over. Right. If I can make a Keep suggestion, talking, guy. you might want to start by continuing offshore a bit, then following the north shore of Molokai to the east. You'll get a great view of some spectacular cliffs. Yeah, we're actually going to head that way. <laughs> as high as you want. Looking when at you one thing off, and looking at something else. Alright, we're actually going to level off. We're going to fly pretty low, I think. Now remember, for those of you that, are, that wanted the cut version, there are going to be cuts um, that I'm going to make. Those of you that want the full version, there's a full version posted. So, depending on which version you're watching. So depending on the version, there's either going to be a cut here shortly, or not. How about that? Um, Alright, so we're going to fly the GPS route. He's got set over there on the Garmin. So we're going to go check out these cliffs over here. On this island. And then we're going to head across the channel. Uh, we are going to try to find the whales, because you get a little postcard or something for that. That's Along awesome. This coast are the highest sea cliffs in the world. The tallest ones are 3,600 feet above the water. There have been a lot of theories about the North Shore of Molokai, but geologists now think that the cliffs were sculpted by waves. Whatever it was, the result is pretty spectacular. And you can't see it unless you're on a boat or on an airplane. And that's true, too. If you go to Hawaii and you, you go to the island of Molokai, definitely go fly the cliffs. amazing. Alright, so up we go to the sky. small town of Lahaina down below. Yes. In the early 1800s, it was the capital of Kamehameha's Hawaiian Kingdom. Eventually, the capital moved to Honolulu, but Lahaina was still booming, mostly as a stopover for whaling ships. In those days, more than 500 whaling ships stopped at Lahaina every year. Today, tourism is the main industry. Lots of great shops and restaurants down there, not to mention one of the world's largest banyan trees. Yes. And originally Hawaii was actually called the Sandwich Islands. More little known facts. <laughs> and King Kamehameha's descendants built the Iolani Palace in Honolulu. That palace was more advanced than the White House throughout the 1800s. Before the uh, White House had Phones and indoor plumbing and electricity. Iolani Palace had it. Now, Hawaii was its own uh, its own nation for the longest time. And then you know, you know how Americans are. They took it. They took it by force. Threw out Queen the Queen. Locked her up in her palace until she died. And took the island. That's why Hawaiians aren't particularly uh, fond of... <laughs> not all Hawaiians are particularly fond of America. See that little island? It's Molokini, the top of an extinct volcano. The crescent shape protects the reef from the elements, so it's one of Hawaii's most popular dive sites. There are about 250 different species of fish down there. Yes. There it is, right there. Look at all the boats hanging out. Isn't that cool, that crescent shape there? Be an awesome dive site. I don't dive though, so... Kinda be lost on me. It'd be cool to fly around Hawaii like this without having to worry about air traffic control and flying in and out of military exclusion zones. That'd be nice. Alright, we're approaching Harpo Intersection. Ooh, bounce, bounce, shake, shake, shimmy, shimmy. 
shimmy, shimmy cocoa butter, or something like that. All right, come on, stop dancing. Yeah, the, as the airflow gets compressed with these two mountains here, we would experience a lot of buffet and bounce. All right, so we've climbed above 10, we have climbed beyond 10,000 feet. That, I can't remember how much more footage, how much more altitude we need for the uh, top of Haleakala, because he's not talking about it right now. That's where a real human would come in handy. What'd you say? What'd you say, Invisible Man? No, oh, he's not talking. Oop, stop, stop. Don't turn like that. Alright, so we're at 10,005. We're going to try to level out here around 10,005. If I remember correctly, you can actually bike down Haleakala. There's a tour you can do. You can sign up for a tour and you uh, get picked up in the morning on a van and they drive you up Haleakala and then you ride a bike down. A long time ago, people believed the sun slept in the crater at night, so they called it Haleakala, or House of the Sun. These days, it's a great place for stargazing. There's an observatory on its highest ridge. The view is unmatched, since at 10,000 feet, it's already above one-third of the Earth's atmosphere. Look at that. Beautiful observatory hanging out up here up on top of Haleakala. see here. The crater. A little bit of crater flying. Why not? She's not active. I like her sister across from the big island of Hawaii. That's Hana Airport up ahead. If you think it's beautiful here, you're not alone. Mark Twain, Jack London, and Charles Lindbergh all fell in love with Hana. In fact, Lindbergh spent the last years of his life in Hana, and his grave is right around here. The locals get annoyed by all the airplanes circling it, so let's just head for the airport and land. Okay. As you approach the airport, slow to 140 knots or less, and lower the landing gear. You yep. can use the speed brake if you need to get down in a hurry. Lower the flaps as you continue slowing. You want about We're 75 actually need knots that speed final. brake. Because uh, we're, we're coming in... A little bit hot. Go. Gears down. Gears locked. Let's go ahead and drop some flap. Okay, this is the airport I don't like because of the trees. <laughs> so I've got to basically drop across the trees. I don't imagine this is true. I don't. I'm. I imagine that those trees are not there in real life. But uh, I'm gonna try. We're gonna go ahead and give her full flap. Okay. I need to get rid of that speed brake. Might need the speed brake again as we cross these tree line. And cross it, drop the speed brake so we can dive down in here. Engine throttle all the way back. Come on, baby, settle down. There she goes. Brakes on. And 50 miles an hour and dropping. Too bad we didn't see any whales. There we it's go. It's hard to know exactly where to find them. Stopped. We're going six miles an hour even though we're stopped. Isn't that nice? Alright, speed brakes. Get those gears up. No, uh, not gears. Get the uh, flaps up. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and taxi to our turnaround point. I do not like that landing. I, I can't imagine those trees are really like that. I have to imagine that they cut those trees down. So what did we see? We saw the uh, leper colony. We saw the 3,000 foot sea cliffs. Those were awesome. They really are awesome. Um, 
else did we see? Well, we, we swung by the observatory at Haleakala. We saw the dive spot. Pretty cool. Um, what else did we see? Oh, we saw the, the highway with the 56 one-way bridges. We saw some airports, but they're not as important. <laughs> So uh, for those of you that didn't see those things because you watched the cut video, because I'm probably going to cut a couple of those just to make you go watch the long video. Um, <laughs> aren't I nice? Um, check out the long video, uh, the short video, you know, highlights for those of you that want to just see the highlights or low lights, depending on your point of view. Hey, look, there's a cub parked over there. Oh, hello, cub. Did you find any sheep? I bet you had found sheep. Avionics master off. And Alton battery off. Open our door. So there we go. We've made our flight. Our Hawaiian checkout flight. We've seen some great sights. We landed dangerously because of these stupid trees at the end of the runway that should be cut down. I'm going to file a complaint with the FAA about that. Um, <laughs> so until next time, this has been Dare Tubbers with Flight Simulator X.